just got to know what is one privilege that women that men have that women don't because i can only think of one privilege that men have that women don't go ahead i'm asking you what's a privilege that men have that women don't yeah because you're trying to say there's male privilege i would argue that women have all the privileges and men have very very few if any Men have very few privileges. Yeah. That's just not true. Men Man, are, that okay, so when you look, have, okay, that men have, that men's don't. sports teams are better funded than girls' sports teams in schools. If that's that's a yeah. fact. In high school men, or college, and both oh, in high school and college actually, and NBA, the fucking NBA and WNBA player More can make only two twenty thousand. Right, than I'm, women's I'm out of the bunk you right now. They this is why you're women. incorrect. Number one, there's a uh, there's a law in in place that in college sports, okay. All, female sports have to get the same amount of funding as male sports. That's number one. That's why college uh, college female rowing teams are huge and have a lot of money because football teams and basketball teams. That's number one. Rowing. So that I mean, I'm just using the okay, example of an the, expensive can you, sport. Can you Hold give on, me an example? Let, 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 let me continue the bump. Uh, the WNBA yeah. is the only business that's negative every single year. It's subsidized by the NBA. Okay, <sighs> so it's a privilege. <sighs> That the WNBA still exists, even though it is a negative business. It makes no money. And it you, loses money, and the NBA subsidizes it. So please explain to me yep. how the M- WNBA yep. players still get a salary yep. of six figures a year while they're negative and don't generate money. And you know, because <laughs> we, we live in a society that loves men, that dick rides men, really? that wants mm-hmm. to see men in all forms of positions. So when men are playing sports, What's we're going to watch that more often than we're, we're going to watch women's sports. Okay, let me ask you a quick question. A how many WNBA games did you go to this year? I've never been to an NBA <laughs> or WNBA game. I've never been to a basketball game this year. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, support so, your queens, so then. go ahead and support WNBA. Yeah, I, support them. Yeah, when I get the yeah. red too, the fuck? Okay, so look, here's here's the thing. If you're gonna make an argument, you gotta make it in good faith. Like I've I said been... before, Title Nine, all right, that allows women's sports to get funded as much as men's sports. So you're incorrect there, number one. Okay. And I know that for a fact because I was a division one athlete and I know that. Okay. Number two, WNBA doesn't deserve to get paid. And as a matter of fact, they shouldn't even exist. It's a negative business, but it's still there. Why? Because we value women's feelings over the real. Yeah, if it was a I, men's I sport a and it was negative, that. they wouldn't fund it at all. True. Okay, so they have you know, men's football, NFL is um, one of the most men dominated sports right so then yes. why then why do they have women female lingerie football wait what oh, Long, like powder puff football? I, I don't understand oh, like... if anything hold on again that is another sport that doesn't generate money it's like, like that lingerie flag and it's football. negative but it gives women an opportunity to play a sport that quite frankly they don't deserve to play it's but, negative they don't generate money and like the lingerie football thing like the women are still being sexualized so how much of a win is that really for women yeah. yeah and they chose to do it so these women are like consciously and willingly sub- uh sexually objecting themselves to what wear no clothing and then put pads on and then running to each other and like what it's it's a <laughs> weird combination if anything i would argue there's more privileges and, and yeah. opportunities to women even though they're mediocre you know what like another I'm being honest. another male privilege is being able to walk down the street and not have to worry about somebody's going to rape you that you're is not have, true okay not you're great. Again. Uh, so y'all be you, walking down on, the street not worried about someone going to rape you let me hit you with facts why you're incorrect that. about this as a man you are actually have a 60 percent plus more chance of being a, a, a victim of violent crime so tell me you're actually safer as a man the reality is you're not. You're far more likely to be a victim of violent crime as a man. I'm than being a woman. I'm being very specific of it being rape and the violent crime that that man is going to face is by another man. The the crimes that women face is most of the time by men. Most like rape we victims are, are harmed men. by men. Most rape victims are men. Most rape it's victims. It's just not talked about because it, 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 it yeah. Okay. And who are, being, who, are no, being, who are they being? Who are they being raped by? Who are they being raped by? Men. Men. Inmates. Yeah. Men. Inmates. Yeah, and yeah. that shit don't get reported, dude. It's prison. No one yeah. knows what the fuck what goes on in there. I've done statistics. I've done statistics on it when I was protesting. Is it not? Oh. Is it not a privilege to not be held accountable for raping other people? What? Is it not? Th- these people are. These men are raping folks, and they're not being held accountable for. They're rape. in prison, and they're doing it to other men. Can we say okay. grape? Stupid grape. 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 So, look, man, you've been debunked on a bunch of the points that you've been trying to make because a lot of the things you've said are erroneous and not true. That's no, it's not. They're OK. I've I think, I think and I think I think another thing about this show is that y'all have your own information, everything ready, your own topics ready to discuss. And so when other people come on here, we get frazzled because you direct you putting people on the hot seat and just you go out this topic. 
<laughs> and this is what the show is about. Because y'all you literally because brought up this topic, and you, I'm debunking, you debunking said, yourself you off said, the top. You said y'all didn't. Y'all, you said we have female privilege. I'm saying we yeah. don't have. I, I'm saying y'all men name have privilege. one privilege that that men have that women don't, and you can't name one. I did. I named several. And I, I debunked said, them. Y'all, all incorrect. y'all get to walk around topless. I already told you that's really not a privilege. privilege. Like really walking a privilege? down the street for a man with no shirt on, like how much of a privilege is that? <laughs> <laughs> Right now, if I could take this off, I would gladly do that, but I can't because I know that's not. That no, really you can't, dude. You're in Miami. You can walk down the streets fucking half naked. But, in but the city, realistically yo. speaking, what, I don't what, like clothes. What period. benefit does that? <laughs> hey, hold on, hold on. I know that shit. You're you're more likely to make money and get opportunities given to you by walking down the street in a bra than I am with my top off. This is you're true. more likely to get opportunities in a normal job environment right. and get pushed higher. Look, who the, who's in really? who's in the Senate is majority men, this and they're making decisions mode. about our body, bro. Like, I, Nick, bitches mm-hmm. can't have abortions. Mm-hmm. Like you saying Actually, that you don't have can. Can. Yeah, women can have abortions. Sense, and you can't do Okay, well, well, let's okay. Just this out thing there. drive Fifty percent of the United states. states. Hold on, let me tell you a privilege that you have that I don't. You can abort a baby. I can't decide anything about a baby. Women have one hundred percent unilateral body. control. That's cool. That's cool. But that's a privilege women have that men don't. And that's I'm also not crying. Okay. You. Okay. So, and then what was the other thing you said? Men control the business. No, you have more opportunities as women for the same job as me. So who runs, who runs most of the Fortune 500 companies? Men. What men. percentage? Men. It's men almost men all men. Than women. Rightfully so, as they should run it because they built that business up. Or yep. maybe because men have engaged in a long practice of colonialism and exploitation that has instilled certain European gender roles in our society. And that's wow. why y'all think you're leaders. <laughs> okay. Because if you look at African societies, okay. they're more matriarchal. If you look at indigenous societies, much more matriarchal. Okay. But you must think that y'all... Well, here's the thing. How many leaders. of those societies still exist today? Because y'all niggas Whoa. kill people. Okay. Men, they it doesn't work. A great they story about how it doesn't war, work. It how doesn't work. War, like without uh, men, that wouldn't. And here's another thing too. Like, Let me ask you a question: Is it really European colonialism when you look at the Asian dynasties, you look at the Arab dynasties, you look at Native American dynasties? They were all patriarchies, yet they never spoke to each other, and there was no way of communicating back then in the old ages. Explain that to me. That's not. I that's not you. Like yo, what? you can't win this. You why cannot why win you this. don't know what colonialism you is? Because colonialism <laughs> is literally a system that yes. is based off created extraction. by Europeans. Created by Europeans, and I'm trying to explain to you. They adopted a patriarchy, yet all these other societies did as well, and none of them spoke to each other without the advent of modern telephones, technology, etc. But they all practiced patriarchies, and they all existed. Explain I'm, that to me. I'm, it's not an, a social oppre- construct. An, an oppressive, it's, racialized patriarchy. No, no. The Europeans created a specific, it's biology. No, it's the, biology. It's not. It's not. But whatever. it's been that way. It's, it's, it's that all these societies. Read Mama's baby. Read Mama's Baby Papa's Maybe by Hortine Spillers, by Hortine Spillers, where she gets into how slavery and colonialism has impacted gender roles in America today. And that's why black men and black women are the way that no, they are. Here's but the thing. Gender roles. Y'all not going to read. Look, look. No, I do read. And that's why you're he's literally getting girl. smoked right now. Gender roles <laughs> are a byproduct of biology, not social construct like you're trying to argue. Men are fit. Stop. Men are physically superior to women in every single way. They're deductive problem solvers. They're more logically sound. That's why men build everything that you see around the world. It's not because women were oppressed, as you say. Women choose to not go into these jobs. Even nowadays, with feminism being as strong as it is, women choose to go into jobs that are more socially centered. They don't go into construction. They don't go into engineering. They don't go into math. They don't go into technology. Because women Mm -hmm. choose these jobs. Judith Butler talks about this, about how people are socialized into their specific gender roles. I have nothing else to say because it's very clear that we are in different points. No, you're incorrect. I really appreciate it. You're incorrect. You're trying to argue. You're trying to argue. No, 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 no. no. You're trying to argue that gender roles are a social construct. Yes, they are. Like, race is a social construct. They're a biological construct. Race is a social construct. You did not just say that. Race is a social construct. Listen. Could I say something real quick? I'm half black and half white is a social construct. Your ethnicity, your ethnicity is different from your race. So who your I don't know what your white part is from or your black part is from, but that's your ethnicity that's different. Your race is your skin color that's socially constructed. It was white folks and black folks telling us, you black, you not. It's ontological. Yeah, like, that's why I had to mark other own papers in school. So. Thank you. But I, I have nothing else to say. If uh, y'all no, read it, then you're yo, not look, reading. Look, look, look. It's not about reading, because I read. What I'm trying to explain to you is how is it a social construct when societies that don't even know each other since the beginning of time, Asians, Native Americans, Europeans, Arabs, etc. They never spoke to each other, but they all had patriarchies. Explain to they me how that's a, Stop interrupting. How's that a social construct when different societies that never spoke to each other did it? It's because it's biologically based. Okay, so patriarchy is a is a system. It, it's it's a it's a way of being that where works. Their men are a society it's a where men that works. are at top. 
that is not necessarily a system that works because what the system that we have of patriarchy here is one that is mixed with colonialism, slavery, um, sexism. It's it's literally a system of of, of oppressions that sexism are working together. Sexism only benefits women. What? Sexism only I, benefits I'm, women. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. What? I mean, you're even. Yo, even yo, the, yo. The, sexism <laughs> only benefits women. There wouldn't be a WNBA without sexism. There wouldn't be equal opportunities on this other stuff. There wouldn't be feminism without sexism. What are you talking about? Sexism inherently benefits yo, women. She came in an argument. Bro, she she, yeah, this bro, is an L. She, she triggered, bro. <laughs> she L. What the fuck? This is a, this is an L all the way. Sexism. <laughs> Inherently benefits women. No, you're good, right? No, you're sexism, on this podcast right now because of sexism. Is a, sexism is we normally charge people oppression. twenty to thirty thousand to be on this podcast. You're on here for free because of sexism. You don't talk about Wait. because you let me, bro. Could that's I say but something? That's what I'm trying quick. to say. Sexism. That's not benefits sexism. Women. It's not sexism. You you're here because you're a woman. You yes. simp. That's, that's sexism. What you let us on. And uh, to be honest, I barely didn't want to like let you on, but after your sister, I'm like, hey, is she can say Miami more or less. And hey, she's like, look, yo, she's flying out in two days. Like, look, yo, look, I, look, I, I look. got you. I'm not here to disrespect or belittle you. I'm just telling you that if you're going to have an, uh, a, an argument here <laughs> based on debate and logically sound arguments, you have to argue in logic, in fact, not necessarily your feelings. And but I am, and what you're doing is you're you're just not listening. So I'm not going I'm to continue very to get because you're saying sexism inherently benefits women. Yes, and that is just. Factually incorrect. If y'all, if all y'all women are going to sit up here and b- agree with that and believe with that, like I really like, I'm going to pray for y'all tonight. Like, Can may I God, say something real quick? Yeah, sure. Somebody has some quick. So I was going to say because I know that you mentioned that there's like certain jobs that men I get and women don't, but I've been interviewed for plenty of jobs that they ask you directly, like, are you a female? Because people are more mm-hmm. comfortable speaking to a female at the front Thank than you. with a man yeah. mm-hmm. that's why like i see where you're trying to get with this mommy but like at the same time you also have to understand that this fear that women have towards men it's not gonna go anywhere yeah so there are certain jobs that only us women can do because only us women give that motherly yes. that nurturing, nurturing mm-hmm. nature feminine that's happy. because that is mm-hmm. who we are but there's that no jobs that they socialized. would never not give to men, to women is we, the other point i'm trying to make like if a, if a guy if a job was like yo we don't hire women they would be sued instantly yep mm-hmm. we exercise sexism towards men but we don't exercise sexism towards women let me give you an example there's two standards in the military there's two standards in police departments there's two standards in fire departments if we didn't have sexism there would be one standard and women wouldn't get the jobs but we allow women these opportunities through what sexism sexism benefits women it's inherently to women's benefit because it allows women the opportunity to compete where they otherwise would never have the chance that's just not like that is the definition of sexism uh, and uh, women are socially constructed to take those positions like when we're kids we are literally raised differently than men are you guys not raised differently than your brothers Uh, i was raised differently than my brothers no no, no. girlfriend do you really want to be on the streets like pouring asphalt in like 95 degree weather like do you want to be out there building buildings in the fucking dirt do you want to be out there pouring concrete yes. do you want to be really go then like you're Get a construction job why don't you have a construction job Miami well, stay in construction exactly Miami stay in construction the same friend you have to go large for a event so so the same thing we have, right? To a march for the BLM events, go work a job like that. It's fine. The same thing you have, right? To go to BLM events, go work a job that you don't like. Go work a job I don't like. Yeah, because you're saying that. No, we're saying. Okay, look, it's very simple. That energy that you take into the BLM protest, go ahead and apply for a construction job or something in science, technology, engineering, or math. Do pour some asphalt. Go Alaska fishing. You know, whatever you want to do. Work one of these very difficult manual labor jobs that women don't want to work. Now, you also said something about social constructioning makes you go into certain jobs. Explain this. You go to Norway, all these Scandinavian countries, right? The women are more, this is the most equal society in the world. The women are literally as equal to the men in every regard. Tell me why women still are nurses still go into social work and dominate the fields of any type of sociology yet they have all the same equalities as men it's because of choice women choose to go into these jobs because women don't like to do physical manual labor it's a fact no one at this table ha- d- does manual physical labor yeah. I mean, none of y'all I but i've done landscaping growing up i've done construction 
I've done. I've, I've done I've, a lot. I've, I've worked choice. on a farm too. Like and it's choice. Like I think. Like, in general, women do not go into manual labor jobs. That's a fact. That's it, not even up for debate. And it's fine. And that's okay. But you can't sit there and say. It, it's a social construct. No, it's a biological co construct. Women don't like to do manual labor because women don't have the endurance, the strength, and the capacity to be able to do it long term. That's just not like women are literally raised not to take those certain jobs. Like we are literally raised to be What's to be teachers. What's stopping you from doing construction nurses. right now? Huh? Stopping Nothing. You. No, it's still a choice to do it. I'm saying that we are socially constructed. <laughs> wait, so wait, we wait, are. Wait, saying what are you saying then? I'm saying that we are in. We are told. We are raised. <laughs> we are in a society that tells us this is what we're supposed to be. <laughs> the cult of domesticity. All right, go. It's you know what? Go against the grain yes, and get a construction really, job. You can, can do look it. That shit up, Yo, if you went to go, listen, if you want to apply for a construction oh, job, you will get a job over a man any day because you're a woman. Yep. Oh, more mm -hmm. sexism, by the way. Don't talk about it. Be Another about privilege it. that you got that men don't. Just Be do it then. You can apply for a police department, a fire department. We'll never do that. You can apply for the military. You will get promoted faster yeah. than a man because of affirmative action and you're black. My yeah, thing dude. is, don't talk about it. Be an example. Just do it. Yeah, exactly.